Good morning, Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to today's special session with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, co-hosted by Che Institute for Advanced Studies and Zhang Mone Center of Korea University. I send my special respect to the great leadership of Secretary General Stoltenberg in urging the Allies to boost their aid to Ukraine, especially as the war has now reached, in his phrase, the pivotal moment. I will not dwell on the serious impact of Ukraine war hitting all parts of the world. When it comes to the implication in Northeast Asia, there are growing concerns that Ukraine war might be precursor to regional military crashes in Northeast Asia, especially by China and North Korea, taking long lessons from the war and making grave misjudgment. Last week, US Secretary, uh, US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said that, I quote, China has made a decision to change the status quo on Taiwan that has prevailed for decades, which is uh, vital to maintaining peace and stability across Taiwan Strait. Many experts argue that China is watching closely how the US and the West react to Russia before testing the water to observe Taiwan. Some extremists even uh, claim that China will take action immediately. The majority forecast the D-Day to be in the year 2027 or near the year 2030. It is observed that Japan is seriously alarmed by the growing possibility of China's invasion of Taiwan, and it unavoidably being embroiled in the war due to its geographical proximity. Japan's westernmost inhabited island with population near 2,000, called Yonaguni, is only 68 miles away from Taiwan. When it's come to the Korean Peninsula, the lesson of Ukraine war has only taught Kim Jong-un on importance of nuclear weapons for its national agenda. Putin's repeated and blatant nuclear threats have significantly lowered the threshold of the use of nuclear weapons, which fed them with the, uh, their own ideas on the first use. The China and Russia's continued exercise of bitter powers in the U.S. Security Council against North Korea's ever-increasing missile and nuclear threats seems to have fomented North Korea's sense of impunity. If the strategic partnership among Russia, China, and North Korea is seriously advanced, what will be our course of action? It is high time for the U.S. and its allies, including NATO, in the Pacific partners and other like-minded countries to come up with any practical measures to bolster the Atlantic-Pacific partnership against such ever-growing threats. Taking this opportunity, I would like to briefly introduce Trans-Pacific Dialogue, or TPD, the which Che Institute hosted as one of the its signature track 1.5 conference, as you can, as you can see, uh, the programs of the conference on the seat. Che Institute hosted the second TPD in Washington, D.C. last month with more than 50 opinion leaders and high-level government officials, including USC NSC coordinator Kurt Campbell, the Secretary Chuck Hagel, Professor John I, among others. I hope to expand the scope and agenda and the participants of Trans-Pacific Dialogue this year in 2023 and establish practical track 1.5 platform for Atlantic Pacific partnership. If the strategic partnership between Russia, China, and North Korea is significantly advanced, what will be our course of action? Last but not least, I'd like to listen to Secretary General uh, Stoltenberg's invaluable first-hand evaluation or observation on when the terrible war in Ukraine will come to an end. When we look back at the recent history since the Cold War, it took Soviet Union nine years to pull out of Afghanistan, 
we must embrace the growing possibility of a protracted war in Ukraine and prepare for unexpected future damage to the global security and economy in the worst case. I hope Secretary General Stoltenberg will successfully contribute to putting an end to such unjustifiable and inhumane Ukraine war in the shortest time possible. I thank you. Thank you, President Park. We will now invite Mr. Secretary Jens Stoltenberg, the 13th NATO Secretary General and former Prime Minister of Norway and UN Special Envoy for the keynote remarks. Please join me in welcoming Secretary General Stoltenberg with a big round of applause.